And yesterday, Congressman Brad Sherman wasted no time in introducing articles of impeachment against President Trump. Congressman Brad Sherman joins me now. Congressman from California. Congressman, thank you very much. I know it's a busy day for you. I appreciate your time. Uh, let me first get your reaction, sir, to the president. He reacted to the news of all of this talk about impeachment. Uh, in a tweet, he wrote, how do you impeach a president who has won perhaps the greatest election of all time, done no collusion with Russia. It was the Dems that colluded, had the most successful first two years of any president, and is the most popular Republican Party in history, 93 percent. Your reaction, sir, to that? I don't know. <laughs> we don't have enough time to, to go into how many falsehoods there were in uh, just that one tweet. Uh, but the fact is, I introduced articles of impeachment in July of 2017. All I did yesterday was make sure that those articles did not expire. It's a long road to impeachment, uh, and uh, filing articles of in, uh, impeachment is just one of the many steps. And I wanted to make sure that we didn't take a step backward yesterday. Uh, be the, the articles that I filed in July of 2017 needed to be uh, uh, put back in the hopper, and that's what I did. And, and fair enough. I wanted to play for you, and you heard, I believe, uh, Speaker Nancy mm -hmm. Pelosi, what she had to say about this issue. Uh, why not, sir, wait for the investigations to play out before taking any action? Why the rush, as you said, to reintroduce those articles of impeachment once again? I filed them in July of 2017. Yeah, that, but why that once, was, once again? Why are you doing it once again? I didn't, I, I, I didn't want them to expire. I didn't want to take a step backward. They should be pending before the House so that when the Mueller investigation and other facts come to light, they're ready to be taken up, along with what I suppose will be other articles of impeachment. Uh, we have a multi-month process uh, uh, to look at here. Uh, but having done something in July of 2017, I wasn't going to undo it uh, in uh, 2019, uh, especially not with the danger that this president poses to our country. Do you believe that the only basis to impeach President Trump right now is based on what comes out of the Mueller report, or is there something beyond that that is an impeachable offense from what you've learned so far? That was the reason I filed those articles of impeachment in July of 2017 obstruction of justice. And even if there's nothing in the Mueller report, the president is guilty of violating Section 1512B3 of the Federal Criminal Code when he tried to interfere in the Flynn investigation, when he fired Comey to obstruct the Russian investigation, and it's his obstruction of justice even if it's ineffectual. So even if there's nothing in the Mueller report, and I can see why people at least politically, would want to wait for the Mueller report and see whether it gives us more reasons to act. But what he did in his first six months in the presidency, on the record, in front of the cameras, constitutes a violation of law. And it's not, doesn't stop being a felony just because you do it in front of the cameras. Let me get your reaction as well to what Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib said at the Move On rally last night. Uh, Congressman Elijah Cummings had to say this a few minutes ago about that. I've said that we will, we will reclaim civility. Uh, you cannot accomplish very much of anything unless you have civility and show respect for your colleagues. Um, and I think those kind of comments do not uh, take us in the right direction. So I would say that they are inappropriate. So the Congresswoman obviously shares your sentiments about impeachment, impeachment, but there are calls for her this morning to apologize about the language uh, she used and in the manner in which she used them. Uh, what is your reaction to, to her comments? Well, I plan to go back to my office and look at it in context. It's obviously not my style. Uh, I've been pushing impeachment since July of 2017 when I introduced articles. I have never used any words that my nine-year-old daughter shouldn't hear. So uh, uh, I think it's important that we um, are, are very methodical about this, that we're calm, we have civility, and that we base it on the legal analysis, uh, such as the one I've published about Section 1512b3. Um, that's the way we can mobilize the country, and it's going to take many months of additional work before we have the country mobilized uh, to, to move forward. Um, that's the style I would use. All right, Congressman Brad Sherman, sir, thank you very much.